welcome back to my channel. I'm excited you're here. Ooh, I'm loving this eye look, y'all. Y'all need this eye look. It is a matte, two-color eye look. So simple. I did use an illuminator. I'm going to show you the brushes that I used to do this with. And there is a special technique um, for adding the warmer color. And I want to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you all the brushes that I used to do that with. It's so simple and easy. And I think you will love it. So please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. I'm usually here on Sundays. And I try to do um, tips and tricks for the mature eye or the mature face. So please keep watching if you want to learn how to do this look. More downward turned as I get older. Uh, but the one thing I do know that I have to do, I have to use a primer. And yes, I use Unique's primer. I love this stuff. Um, it goes on a little tacky. I don't put a whole lot on, but you do want a little bit, just a little bit on your finger. See, not that much. And you're going to dab it together, and you're going to place it on one eye and then the other. And you're just going to smooth it in. Now, yes, this is tacky. Tacky is good because it helps hold the color. But being too tacky means that if you go in a little heavy-handed, it's going to grab all that color in one spot. So I actually have been putting a little bit of concealer over it and then I set it with my It's Bye Bye Pour uh, powder. But I'm gonna put on the concealer Velour. It's also by Unique. It is really nice. It goes on, it's very creamy. But what I do is I add a little bit of my, let me get it over here to show you. I use this. This is uh, Olivia Care Rose Hippo. And what I do, I don't even take, uh, I don't even use, I just take the dropper like this and I will basically just touch it, <laughs> touch it just a tiny bit. All you want to do is just boom, put just a tiny bit on your hand, not much. And I put it on my finger too. And then I mix it up with that on the top of my hand. And then I'm going to place this on top of my lid, just like that on both sides. And then I smooth it in with my fingers. And it goes on so good. It's not too thick. It actually is good for your skin. Uh, it softens that eye area just a little bit. You know, we lose moisture everywhere. So I've been doing this for about the last month, actually. I've been trying it this way. I really like it. And it seems to work well. And using your ring finger, of course, is the best finger to use because it's the one with the least amount of pressure. Oh, it feels so good going on. It really does. Now, we know that uh, we got lines and we've got discoloration there. So, it really helps with that. So, the rest of it, I just rub it into my skin because it's good for my skin anyway. Kind of helps get rid of blue veins. I love that. <laughs> Too sad we have to do that, right? But, let me close my eyes so you can see. Now, I'm going to let this set for a few minutes. That's what I normally do. And then I will set it with uh, It's Bye Bye uh, pores. And I usually take the It's Bye Bye in the loose like this. This is the lid. And this is the container that it comes in. And so I just kind of put this into the lid. Basically, too, I like to use a, a beauty, little beauty blender. Now, this beauty blender is not wet. I want it to be able to pick up whatever's left. Now, I know when you use a moist beauty blender, it's not going to um, pull off as much product, but I do like to press this in. So, if there's any excess I don't need, it goes into the sponge. And yes, make sure you wash these sponges often. If you hear a noise, I have my granddaughter here and my husband is vacuuming. Ain't that nice? <laughs> that doesn't happen very much just to say it he's really good about helping me out he knows i have a lot going on see and i need to get this done all right here we go we're going to pop this in this is a morphe brush it's an under eye brush i got it at ulta don't want a whole lot even even that is too much pat it off and then you're going to dab it just like this onto the eye and cover the entire eye you know if you have to come back and kind of touch up your eyebrows, you can do that. I've already done my eyebrows. Just using an eyebrow pencil, something quick and easy. And just place this on just like that everywhere. Take your fingers and wipe a lot of it off. And then just anything that's left, just kind of dust it right off. And boom, you're ready. 
Now we're going to use two colors, matte colors. Why matte colors? Because I think sometimes you're scared maybe of the shimmer. So we're going to use these two colors here. Great for summer. Maybe you have something close to these. This is called Witty. This is called Nonsensical. Nonsensical, um, the light doesn't do it justice here, but it's almost like a reddish brown color. It's really, really cool. It's like a brick color to me. And this here is a very, very light orangey color and it is a matte and we're going to use a fluffy crease brush we're going to this is unique's fluffy crease brush and we're just going to place this color right above our crease so find your crease here's mine so if i put the color in here it's definitely going to be right there and you would never see it so you want to come up on your brow bone right here so i'm going to do one eye with you and then i'll do the other eye off camera and then we will come back and we will finish this eye out and I'll show you, I'm gonna show you some cool little tricks for this eye to keep the um, appearance of a more open eye, a more lifted eye is such a cool technique. Wipe this off and then come back and kind of blend it out. This is such a pretty color. You will love this color for summer. And if you have blue eyes, this is a color orange. The, in the orange realm will make your eyes really pop. If you've got hazel eyes or brown eyes, it's gonna bring out the gold flecks in your eyes. And of course, I have green eyes. So if, I'm, if my light changes a little bit, I'm trying to use natural light, which is what I always love to use during these videos. Oh, I love this color, I really do. Now, we're going to change brushes because this one is just great for like an overall wash of color. Notice I didn't bring it down onto my lid. There's a reason for that. <laughs> There's a reason for that. We've got our concealer on and the concealer is going to make everything pop right here. Now, I am going to bring this color down in here in just a minute, but I want to show you how to get this cool little technique using the shader liner brush. Now, this is unique shader liner brush. You see it? It's got a shader side and it's got like a liner side. You see, can't get my hand, I can't, can't get my hand on it. There you go. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? We're gonna take the color, nonsensical, and I'm going to first dip it down in, straight in, just like that. Get it on the end of the brush. Now, I will use a little bit of setting spray here in just a few minutes, but what you wanna do is place this color right on that bone. Do you see? Like right above your crease, isn't that cool? Now, what, what this does, it gives you a little bit more definition. Look at that. Cool. And we're going to take it out slightly and then upward, just a tad. Do you see that? How it just kind of comes across and outward. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog. He's in here with me. I have a bully. Bully breed doggy. There you go. See that? Ooh, isn't that cool? Now you're going to come back with a crease brush. This is Unique's crease brush. I like to use this because it gives you a little more, you know, precision type blending because I don't really want it to be blended upward yet. I want to get that perfect little line that I'm looking for. And then we're going to blend these two colors together. There we go. Ooh, I like this technique so much. And don't worry if you get a little heavy handed. It's really a cool technique. You see, you see everything is above that crease line. See it? So now we're gonna use a big fluffy blending brush and we're gonna blend out these soften and soften these edges. Just blending the two colors together. I call it marrying the two colors, maybe. <laughs> I really, I think it's just a, such a pretty look. There we go. We've got our two colors on now. So now we're going to change gears and we're going to come back to this color here. And I'm going to take the shader liner brush again. We're going to use the flat side and we're going to take this color and we're going to place it right in this area from your pupil over inward. And I'm going to keep it just right on my lid because there's one cool thing we're going to do. We're going to use an illuminizer at the end to put the inner corner to make it a little lighter. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? I just love this. When you see how this finishes out, you're going to be like, oh, I can do this. I swear you can do it. I'm 57. I know you can do it too. I know. And it's all blendable colors. They all blend together. So, so pretty at the end. All right, let's do, let's get another crease brush and we're going to come back with nonsensical. Now, we're going to take nonsensical on a crease brush 
And we've already pretty much determined that we got to come up and look, we've already got the start of our outer V. So this is a cool, easy way for you to do your outer V. Start at the corner of your eye and just push upward. Look at that. You're already meeting the line that you just created a few minutes ago with that one little technique using the liner side of the shader liner brush. And now I'm just kind of blending this in, darkening this area and creating and connecting my outer V. I love it. Look at that. Wow. It's so easy to do. It's such an easy, wheezy, peasy I look. I don't want this to take so long for you. Now I'm going to come back. We're going to take a little bit of weedy on the fluffy crease brush. Remember, we used that earlier. And I'm going to come right above and add just a little bit more of that color. Then we're going to grab our blending brush. And if I'm going fast for you, I just don't mean to be, but I just love this. It's very eye friendly to the older eye, mature eye. No shiny, unless you want it to be. Now you can always change out the witty for a shinier color. If that's that's what you wish. Now I am going to take a little bit. This is my concealer. I mean my uh, foundation velour. It's in a pressed powder, and we're going to kind of blur this out up here. Going to blend it together and soften it. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. On the end of my little, this is a powder uh, concealer brush, perfect for this. And we're gonna add just a little bit of softness to the inner eye, inner and right across the top. Kind of blend it out. You see how that just kind of blended it out and softened the edges. And you can use this brush to kind of blend weedy into the velour. And you're not you're not using a whole lot of velour. You see how it softened it? It's really, really a pretty look. Now, we're going to add a liner. And here's my liner. Fine. I'm going to use a Unique's liner. This is in the color proper. It is a fabulous color. Unique is changing so much here lately. And we're getting a, a lot of new products in and this year. So, proper is staying. Now, you can also use a black liner pencil if you want to. You can also use liquid liner if you feel like it, <laughs> if you're brave enough to want to do that. But I'm going to use this color. I love it. I love flicking it out. Now, don't bring it all the way to the bottom corner here. What you want to do is find your lash, your last lash there, and keep your eye open and flick it upward, just like you did when you, when you created the outer V. You're staying in line with that. You see? How cool that is. Let me, and then you draw the line back to meet the other side. The other line that we did create. Now you notice that I do not come in all the way to the inner corner. And the reason for that is I have a uh, close set eyes. So I really like my eyes to be more wider apart. And that's the reason I don't bring the color all the way down in here for the liner. You could, however, but I am going to tight line on the bottom down here. And we're going to take a little bit of both colors and run it right underneath. And we're just gonna grab a crease brush for that. Go back and grab the crease brush that you've used. Grab both your colors right here. I've got these two colors. I'm gonna hold them in my hand like this and I'm gonna dab it, dab it, just like that. And we're gonna run it right underneath. And I am gonna finish the other eye off camera and I'll be back. And we will finish out this eye. I'll go ahead and finish this one totally. And then we'll come back and we'll add our mascara. And you'll go, boom, you're going to see the whole entire look. Look how much bigger this eye looks than this eye. Isn't that amazing what makeup can do? I did, Sometimes I just sit and stare at it and go, wow. <laughs> That's really something. Then we're going to do the inner corner too. So let me go finish this eye to match this eye. And I'll be right back. Now. Take a look at what mascara does to your eyes. Now, I didn't do this eye. I'm going to do this eye on camera with you, but look at that. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? This is such a pretty, pretty look, and it's so simple and easy because it's two colors, just two eyeshadows. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of primer on this eye. This is Unique's primer. It, I think it's currently out of stock. It is a very popular product. And so, eye primer, I always recommend using an eye primer. It just helps your mascara 
look thicker. It stays longer, you know. This doesn't flake anyway, but it sure does make a huge difference when you go uh, to apply your mascara. And if you hear the noise in the background, that's my boy Chief, he's snoring. <laughs> he's an American Bulldog pit mix, and he is our big baby. He's a crippled dog, so I have to help him out. And most of the time when I'm home, he's always with me. I'm his kind of his comfort zone, so. I am a dog lover, and he was a rescue. Look at that, oh my goodness. This is 4D. I'm using 4D fiber uh, mascara, and it does have little tiny polymer fibers in it. The wand is shaped like crazy. One side is flat, one side is round. And the best way to apply this is to get right at the root and kind of wiggle and just kind of blink and blink and blink jiggle and blink. And I know going over your nose is not the correct way to do your mascara, but I think I must have learned that as a teenager and it just kind of stuck with me. It took me a long time to learn how to do it this way. You know, but if you get it on your nose, just don't touch it or anywhere on your eye as you're trying to do this. Maybe you're learning how to do this and maybe you've never used mascara before. I think mascara, even if you don't wear eyeshadow, I think if you just pop some mascara on, uh, it just really opens up your eyes. And your eyes are your window to the world. I mean, the, I, this mascara is just absolutely gorgeous to me. Now, I am going to put a little bit on the bottom. I do not put a lot of ma mascara on the bottom here. I simply will just take it right in the center, and that's it. Now, I am going to add one more coat just to get a little bit more length. Simple, 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 simple. But wow, what a transformation. And I did do my lips off camera. That way I would be like totally done. The only thing we have left to do to this eye is uh, I love these two products here. This is, uh, well, the two colors. One is benevolent and one is pearly. Now, I'm gonna use benevolent because if you use something too light, I think on an older eye in your inner corner, it just really is too bright. And so this is an ivory color. It's very beautiful. And we take a little flat brush here. I think it's a Jacqueline Hill brush, but I'll put everything in the description box below. So you'll know what I'm using. And maybe you already have some of the stuff and the colors, and maybe you can just create this look with what you have. But if not, these colors are available. A lot of uh, Unique's colors are retiring right now because we are getting new things. But you see, I'm just using a very flat brush to apply this with. I love this. It's kind of tapered brush. It's really cool. And pat it in. You know, I have a little indention right there that creates darkness. So this is one of the main reasons that I do this right here. Just to open up that inner corner and just give me a little light there in that middle. Now, you can use this as illuminator across your face but i love this as a blush and also i do have on just a little bit of blush but we're going to take a blush let's, let's take this brush here this is a blusher brush let's just tap it in it is kind of a pinky it's got gold flecks in it it's absolutely gorgeous on your skin and if you don't like to be a glow bug this is the one for you it's called pearly and you could definitely use this by itself as a blush too. Now I love to bring it down the center of my nose like that and to the end and here and a little right there just for a little pop of light but not being too light. You see that sheen that it gave me? Look at that. Pretty beautiful glow. All right ladies what do you think? This is the finished look. Two eyeshadows. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love orange. I love orange. I think orange looks good on anyone, anyone, any skin tone, especially if you, you warm it up with a warmer color. You don't have to use nonsensical. You could use a beautiful chocolate brown or a lighter uh, taupey color, and it would still be the same look, the same technique. I just think it's a wonderful way to do your eyes. Very quick and easy for someone who has hooded eyes, and you're trying to learn how to keep it right on that brow, on that bone right there, that bone right across here, which is your orbital bone. Mm -hmm orbital bone. <laughs> I can't talk today. So please like and subscribe. I would love to have you come back. I usually try to be here on Sundays when I can. And I appreciate you watching. And give me a thumbs up. I'll see you later.